Most of my patients come in with similar concerns, dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, and it basically happens with aging. It affects us all, there is no running away from it. And how can we treat them effectively? It may seem like there's a new treatment modality that's bigger, better, faster, but please, take all of these marketing gimmicks with a large handful of salt. New does not necessarily mean better. Functionality and efficacy still is the most important factor when deciding what to use for patients. So when you have pigmentary disorders, do they all work with pico lasers? Yes, pico lasers work very well to lighten the pigmentation. But then again, melasma is what we call a chronic skin disorder. You can be doing pico lasers non-stop, but it's not going to cure your melasma. It's just going to keep it under control. You can do pico lasers, but we do know that you get better results if you're also using topical lightening agents, which respond better to multi-modality treatments. Identifying dynamic or static lines are the first thing we have to do when it comes to wrinkles. Dynamic lines are like this, you know, only appear when you make expression. Whereas static lines or what we call fixed lines are also there when you are relaxed. Botulinum toxin is great for preventing the formation of lines. So the concept I like to practice when it comes to Botox injections is less is more. So when you inject Botox, what I think looks good is if you can still do a bit of expression, but you can still see that you are being expressive. No one singular device or treatment is able to magically solve all your aesthetic problems. And if you want good results, please choose the best and most suitable option for the different aspects of the face. Work with your doctor on your concerns and they will try their best to accommodate your needs. Do them right, do it right, and you'll be alright.